That is funny, Kate. That's so, so you did stand up in New York. How in the world did you get there? And I will tell you, the best speakers in our speaker association and on the planet come from comedy clubs because they know how to command the attention and do that quick witted humor. Well, it's, it's, it's the, it's the trenches and it's really funny. Um, I was just in the, I was just in the, in Asheville, North Carolina. I remembered being in Fayetteville, North Carolina at a club when I was doing the comedy clubs and it was so bad. We called it Fayetteville. I mean, it was a, <laughs> it was like this one nighter with, I mean, everything, but the chicken wire around the state. I mean, they had the ball games on just every nightmare you could think of and we dreaded it, but we needed the money. So everybody went through Vietnam. If you, if you did this string of, of jobs through the South, you had to go through Vietnam. <laughs> so uh, I think that's part of, I think it gets to, to where you just, you run out of, of worry cards because you've just had, you've just been beat up night after night after night. They used to have a saying in New Yorkers, you'd wait maybe till two in the morning. And the, the last two people, the last two drunks, uh, the, the club was open till the last people left. So it could be two, three, as long as those two people were there and they'd be there, they're drunk, they're making out, but you're like, please don't leave. Please don't leave. You better <laughs> to do your five minutes, you know, please don't leave. Please don't leave. And there was a, a joke in New York, you know, if you can make an em a, a room full of empty chairs laugh, now you're really on to something. Oh so yeah. Was like, yeah. Um, so that must be it. I don't know. It was a, it was a bizarre thing as I, I was doing the road. I actually started in Oklahoma where I was transferred for a job and I was just bored and lonely and uh, started doing stand up. And, and I worked for three companies in a row by the time I was 28 that went bankrupt. Oh, good. And I thought, that's it. I'm an, I had an MBA, everything. I was doing the corporate thing. I said, that's it. I'm going to trash this MBA, go on the road and be a touring stand up comedian. Of course, my joke is, boy, were my parents proud. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even know how to tell them. I thought, well, I won't come right out and tell them what I do. I'll just describe it to them. So I said, well, I work late at night and show people a good time. <laughs> Oh my lord, our daughter. Well, I said, no, know, no, they laugh when I perform. And she's not even good at it. So yeah. It's like the Marvelous Miss Maisel. I think we talked about that. Oh I, I, yeah. gosh. I'm oh. thinking, oh, that show. She that I mean, it's so got some good. wordy dirds in it, you know. And yes. I, I put it on mute when Thomas, because he's my moral compass. He's like, dum, dum, dum. And yeah. so, but I thought that whole premise was so oh, funny I can think, you know, I have my I have my my boundary of stage of what I allow in and out. Oh, and believe yeah. me, when you leave the stage, and I'm I'm extremely secular on stage. That's just a choice that I made. I said sure. I am uh you when i leave you don't know uh, have a whiff of my religion my politics my sexuality my marital status i don't even talk about that i don't talk about anything that's kind of i mean i talk about my life me and my life obviously but it's really more about them and so i uh and no and i'll tell you jane you've probably had this through the years too i'm in recovery from drug and alcohol abuse i'm uh 30. I, I keep, I always keep losing track. 36 hey, years. I did not know that. Yeah. yeah Congratulations. That's yeah, thank fantastic. you. Thank you. Um, uh, and, uh, but I do this thing about, uh, Thomas Edison, how he tried 6,000 different elements before he developed the light bulb. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I said, Can you imagine trying and failing something 6,000 times. Yeah. Can you imagine his friends around try 4,000. They're like, <laughs> Tom, dude, give it up. Candles aren't that bad. Let's go get a beer. He's like, nah, I gotta make a light bulb. Four thousand. Give me that cat hair. Four thousand too. Yeah. And give me that. Give me that red beard here. Uh, yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. You pull something out of a guy's beard one time. Yeah, that's right. So uh, I was doing a faith-based um, uh, hospital, and so I was having mm -hmm. two presentations. I did that one. She comes up after me, and I and sometimes I talk about being in recovery, and when usually when it's healthcare like that, I do, and and she and she comes up. She goes. That thing you did about the beer. I said, the beer, what do you, I thought, but beer, you know, drinking the beer. I go, oh, I don't, I don't drink, you know, but I go, oh, and in my mind, I thought, oh, Thomas can't talk, can't suggest. <laughs> and, 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 and just when you think you've scratched, so I changed it and I still changed it to let's go mm -hmm. shoot some hoops. 
which is still sounds funny. You know, just for, yeah. back in the time, somebody saying, let's shoot hoops. I mean, they wouldn't even say that. So it, it's still funny. It's maybe might even be a little funnier, but it's amazing to me mm-hmm. how I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. And it's not even that I'm trying not to be offensive. It's that I want everyone included. I don't want anybody to stop and say, okay, I see an agenda coming here. Because my only oh, yeah. agenda is I want you to enjoy yourself when you're with me and have some good takeaways to take, you know, to your work and in your lives. That's my only agenda. So, but and off you stage, so off, well. Oh, well, I, I, I'm a work in progress, you know? We just, it's just, uh, you're never done. You never master no. it.